Welcome to the Seller Roundtable e-commerce coaching and business strategies with Andy Arnott and Amy Wees. Now, if the factory knows ahead of time, and I don't just want to assume that every factory is bad because most of the factories that I have visited are great. They're awesome. You know, Mm -hmm. Um, there's little minor things like, hey, this room over here is a little messy and, you know, (laughs) maybe this, this needs to be corrected. But for the most part, they're really great. But what about, you know, you, you let the factory know that you're coming in for an audit and you come and, you, you know, your auditor comes. Is, is this factory going to be on their best behavior and then just go back to, you know, poorly treating their workers the next day? Like, how does, how does that work? Yes. So definitely, um, how, um, so there's different ways that you can schedule an audit. Um, so the most common one is an, an announced audit, wherein we tell them that, hey, we're coming in on this exact date to perform the audit. So definitely they'll be on their best behavior if you do that. There's also um, an unannounced audit, wherein um, there's two ways. One is we give them, and this is totally up to you, we can give them a time frame that will be coming in for an audit um, between this date's so be ready or we can do a surprise audit we're in would we come in um they, they don't know what date we're coming in um and conduct an audit on the spot to check um other things that we do is that we also do a um a neighborhood check uh, as part of our audit. It's, this is uh, something that's different from other companies we're in. They'll just conduct the audit, um, issue the audit report. We would do random checks as well. Um, our auditor would actually go to the neighboring business and ask them like, hey, um, you know, what do you see that's happening in this factory? Are they, um, they said that um, they don't do overtime. Um, do, you something, do you notice something different? Um, Sometimes they would report to us like, yeah, they say they don't do overtime, but you know they're they're they have lights on and like uh, noise coming from that factory at like nine o'clock at night. So um, we do neighborhood audits like that, neighborhood checks if you you want to, um, and um, we also do a follow up um, audit um, for um, for your factory. So to get back. Different, different ways to handle audits um, depending on your program. And this is what, going back to what I initially said earlier, like you want to look for um, a partnership with your inspection company um, so that you can build the strategies uh, for your, your um, for not only for your inspection, but for, for your audits and even testing. Program. Got it. Well, that's really awesome. I think it's very affordable when you think about it in a large context, especially if you're going to be working with a supplier for a long time, you know, you might have a product life cycle of five, five years, you know, and I think before even having your initial inspection, you get that audit done, uh, even better if you can go with to that audit, but uh, either way you get that audit done and you get that, that nice warm fuzzy that this is a good company to do business with. This is a good factory to produce your products and you're going to be able to expect quality from them moving forward thanks for tuning in join us every tuesday at 1 p.m pacific standard time for live q a and bonus content after the recording at sellerroundtable.com sponsored by the ultimate software tool for amazon sales and growth sellerseo.com and amazingathome.com